researchers at North Carolina State University used a CRISPR gene editing system to breed poplar trees with reduced levels of lignin, the major barrier to sustainable production of wood fibers, while improving their wood properties. The findings published in the journal Science hold promise to make fiber production for everything from paper to diapers greener, cheaper and more efficient. The team of researchers used predictive modeling to set goals of lowering lignin levels, increasing the carbohydrate to lignin CL ratio and increasing the ratio of two important lignin building blocks, syringal to gyacil SG in poplar trees. These combined chemical characteristics represent a fiber production sweet spot. The researchers say that they are using CRISPR to build a more sustainable forest. CRISPR systems provide the flexibility to edit more than just single genes or gene families, allowing for greater improvement to wood properties. The machine learning model predicted and then sorted through almost 70,000 different gene editing strategies targeting 21 important genes associated with lignin production, some changing multiple genes at a time, to arrive at 347 strategies. More than 99% of those strategies targeted at least three genes. From there, the researchers selected the seven best strategies that modeling suggested would lead to trees that would attain the chemical sweet spot. 35% less lignin than wild or unmodified trees, CL ratios that were more than 200% higher than wild trees, SG ratios that were also more than 200% higher than wild trees, and tree growth rates that were similar to wild trees. From these seven strategies, the researchers used CRISPR gene editing to produce 174 lines of poplar trees. After six months in an NC State greenhouse, an examination of those trees showed reduced lignin content of up to 50% in some varieties, as well as a 228% increase in the CL ratio in others. Interestingly, the researchers say more significant lignin reductions were shown in trees with 4 to 6 gene edits, although trees with 3 gene edits showed lignin reduction of up to 32%. Single gene edits failed to reduce lignin content much at all, showing that using CRISPR to make multi-gene changes could confer advantages in fiber production. The study also included sophisticated pulp production mill models that suggest reduced lignin content in trees could increase pulp yield and reduce so-called black liquor, the major byproduct of pulping, which could help mills produce up to 40% more sustainable fibers. Finally, the efficiencies found in fiber production could reduce greenhouse gases associated with pulp production by up to 20% if reduced lignin and increased CL and SG ratios are achieved in trees at industrial scale. Forest trees represent the largest biogenic carbon sink on earth and are paramount in efforts to curb climate change. They are pillars of our ecosystems and the bioeconomy. In North Carolina, forestry contributes over $35 billion to the local economy and supports approximately 140,000 jobs. Next steps include continued greenhouse tests to see how the gene-edited trees perform compared to wild trees. Later, the team hopes to use field trials to gauge whether the gene-edited trees can handle the stresses provided by life outdoors outside the controlled greenhouse environment.